Hey everybody, Rob Esley here from the Outdoor Line Radio Show here at 710 ESPN Seattle. You know what, it's steelhead season here in the Pacific Northwest. It's the end of January, coming into February here, just tomorrow. And uh, a great way to catch steelhead right here, in fact I caught a few steelhead on this rig this week, is with a Yarny. We've talked about this quite a bit on the show, uh, and I think I've even done a couple of videos on this in the past. That's a really simple rig. Uh, I've just got several different colors of yarn in here in my egg loop. A number two Mustad hook. I've got 10 pound uh, maximal leader. This is about a three foot leader. You want to run a really short leader with a yarny. These lines actually float even on their own. This yarn floats like a cork. Uh, about a two to three foot leader, pretty short. This is a three ball slinky. This is .270 shot in here. And a, uh, a snap swivel up to 12 pound high vis uh, line. Lama Glass XMG 50 side drifting rod. I've got a Daiwa Air spinning reel here loaded up with that 12 pound high vis line and you're good to go. Okay, now what do you do with this Yarny? Some of the things you can do to spice this thing up a little bit. A lot of the guys will run easy eggs on here. Uh, that's pretty, you'll see that on the cowlets. The guys out in Forks run these eggs. The nice thing about these easy eggs, they're full of scent and they float like a cork. You just bust one or two of these off, uh, slide them on your hook and you're good to go. And you, you don't need bait or scent to make these things work, but it does make them work a little bit better. So if you're in an area where you can use that, you can definitely jack them up a little bit uh, with some easy eggs. The other thing you can do, and a lot of the guys down in Oregon do this, they'll, they'll run these fish pills on there. These come in a variety of colors. See, I got a bag here with a bunch of different colors. You take one of these, you can, in fact, you can take the juice from when you're curing your eggs, pour it in a jar. A lot of guys will soak these in that egg juice to soak, soak them in shrimp oil. And all you do is you take that fish pill, which is just a foam little, little corky kind of a jobber, you push it right on the hook, and you push it right up against that yarny, and talk about floating like a cork. If you've had it soaking in your egg juice, you know, from curing eggs, now you got a little scent bomb on there as well. Uh, if you get a bite, set the hook, this thing pops off, just slide another one on. They come in a variety of colors. The other thing you can do is you can run a little bit of prawn on there. Here I've got some cooked prawns here, cut up in just little pieces. These are just little dime sized pieces. You don't want it to be too heavy, too big. If it's too big, the weight of that prawn will weight that thing down and it'll fall into the rocks. You just want to put a tiny little piece of prawn on there. These are actually cooked prawns I got from Costco. You can put tiger prawns on there, cooked or uncooked, just something to give it a little scent. Anyway, it's a great setup and it's a great little technique for catching steelhead this time of year, especially this next week with the flows dropping down, water's going to get pretty clear. And nice thing about this yarny, when they get this yarn stuck in their teeth, they can't spit this thing out. The hits are usually pretty violent uh, when they get this thing stuck in there and they can't get it out of their mouth. They kind of freak out and off they go. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Go out there this week, catch some steelhead, and thanks for watching this last cast video here on the Outdoor Line on 710 ESPN Seattle.